Beachfront homeless encampments, it's a trend you've probably seen more of during the pandemic, even though it's illegal. New encampments have been popping up throughout L.A. in the last five months. Mayor Eric Garcetti and L.A. County officials vowed to get people off the streets during the pandemic. But as NBC4i team investigator Joel Grover is finding, the number of people living outside appears to have multiplied. Two women beat the summer heat in a pool set up on a sidewalk at a new encampment in Venice. To fill the pool, they tapped into the water line from the building next door. In other parts of Venice, there are also new encampments on the beach, on the world famous boardwalk. A year ago, this encampment in front of Venice's Penmar golf course was just a few tents, but now it's expanded to almost a mile long. Venice resident Alan Parsons. It's a failure of the local government to address homelessness. Since the pandemic began, new encampments are popping up all across LA, taking up entire blocks that used to have no tents. This encampment that used to cover just the sidewalk under the 101 freeway at Gower recently grew to cover the medians in the middle of the street, too. How have we surrendered to the fact that that's normal? Estela Lopez represents downtown businesses in the area that includes Skid Row. In addition to COVID, is the city worried about what else is growing underneath those encampments? People are sitting in their own waste. We have had typhus, we have had tuberculosis, staph, ro rodents, fleas, bed bugs. All of that is living in these encampments. Law enforcement tells the I team there are now more homeless on the streets for two reasons. First, starting in April, to stem the spread of COVID behind bars, California jails and prisons began releasing 3,500 nonviolent inmates out onto the streets. Skid Row has been a destination for people recently released from county jail when they don't have a home or friends or family to go to. Also, the city of LA stopped enforcing several laws during the pandemic. For example, they're not enforcing the ordinance that forbids the homeless from having bulky items at their tents. That's why you're now seeing huge encampments with sofas, mattresses, and yes, even wading pools. Great. Mayor Garcetti has boasted this summer that more and more housing has been built for the homeless, like this bridge home shelter in Venice. So to Eric Garcetti, I would say that this is anything but a success. The mayor's website says when a bridge home shelter opens, the city will establish enforcement zones to ensure that tents are taken down. But all around that Venice Bridge home, new tents are being set up all the time during the pandemic. Is that because the shelter is full? The I team obtained the occupancy figures from mid July to mid August, and out of 154 beds, only 124 were occupied. That means there were close to 30 vacancies. Why aren't these beds being used? They do not allow drugs or alcohol within that facility. Uh, it comes with a curfew. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of these folks don't want to abide by the rules. The mayor has stated publicly that during the pandemic, no one who is homeless will be moved from their current location. He cites guidance from the CDC, which says moving anyone could help spread COVID. For the I-Team, I'm Joel Grover.